Hi, right, what's going on guys? Coach Joe here, and we're going to be talking about a very simple bench tip that I think we always forget, especially when going for one rep maxes or heavy weight. What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den, and welcome to anybody who's new. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel Hit the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Putting out weekly videos, tips and tricks to help you get as strong as possible and be an absolute beast when it comes to anything gym or strength sport related. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a very simple little tip uh, with the bench press. And this is to correct an issue that I've been seeing a lot more frequently, especially in my gym. And this is something that I used to be guilty of doing. And this only really happens when you're going heavier, or typically that's when I see is when people are going heavier or going for a one rep max. And we've been testing our one rep maxes here at the Lion's Den. So I was seeing this come up a couple times, which kind of gives me uh, just a reason to bring it up in video. So the issue that I'm talking about is when, when we're bench pressing on the descent, letting the bar just come down and crash on our chest and trying to bounce the bar back up. Now there's a couple things wrong with this for sure, uh, but why I think this happens is because once we get some heavier weight, okay, that we're maybe a little bit uncomfortable with, uh, we just want the lift to be done. We wanna just bring it down, bounce it up, and, and be over with uh, completely. And this happens with a lot of things, especially the squat. You'll see people who just drop right down into the bottom of the squat, and they're not getting as much eccentric control on the way down as possible. So when you're in that bench press, and you guys are getting up on your shoulder blades, and you're taking the bar off the rack, that is all setting good. And the reason we're doing that is to set us up for a good press and nice bar mechanics and bar path on the way up. Now we take the time to do all this work, right? And it's supposed to you know, help us with our form and technique, but then what's the point of just letting the bar come down and crash and hit you in the chest? And especially on the way down, you guys are losing all that tension. So you're building up all the tension for the setup and then just kind of getting rid of it all. Uh, and more often than not, what I see happen is flaw and bar path. So when the person is descending with their bar, the bar actually will come off of the, that J uh, hook or curve kind of press and it's gonna go a little bit too low on the chest or maybe they're gonna press back super fast and it's gonna go almost a little bit towards their throat and they lose all of the leverage that they have in the lift. So we wanna make sure that this doesn't happen on our bench press. So the biggest tip that I wanna give you guys today is especially when you're going heavier, okay, where you're getting ready for a one or a max is get into that good setup, okay, get up on your shoulder blades, have your feet however, or position however you want, make sure that your feet are rooted into the ground. If you have an arch, that's great. If not, whatever, uh, depending on what kind of lifter you are, that's fine. But the thing is, on the descent, we wanna stay under control, okay? We want that bar path to be perfect, and we're trying to just keep all that muscle recruitment that we have, okay, on the eccentric on the way down. And I know it's gonna be counterintuitive because it feels heavy on the way down. It's a little bit slower and more controlled, but that is what's gonna set you up for success later in the lift, okay? Making sure that the bar path stays exactly where it needs to be so you have a nice, efficient path. Because you guys know if that groove is off just a little bit, the weight's gonna feel heavier, the bar is just gonna go in a weird direction and that could make or break you guys from getting a PR or just lifting a lot heavier in your training. So typically for the bench press, you're gonna wanna kinda stick to right around where your sternum is for where the bar is gonna make contact with your body or right across your nipple line is typically something that we would say. The lower we go, okay, the harder that bench press is gonna become and the higher up we go, it's gonna be the same thing. So kinda of just finding that sweet spot, kinda of like I said, right around chest level, nipple line, sternum area is gonna be the best place to start. There can be you know, a little bit of a difference, maybe a little higher, a little lower, depending on your body type, your arch, arm length, whatever, that's fine, um, but you guys get the point. The further we drift away from that, the harder it is gonna to be to effectively press the bar back as efficient as possible. Now I know it's a very simple tip, but I think a lot of people forget about it, so don't overlook the basics and the small things, and that could be what's holding you back from adding extra weight to the barbell or even hitting APR. But I'm very interested to know what is your issue with your bench press, so if you guys could, please comment down below uh, with the main issues that you have with your bench press, and I would love to make some videos in the future to help address those issues. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, okay? You subscribe to the channel and you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos. I really appreciate all your guys' support and I'm just trying to deliver fantastic content for you guys to become better. But until then, stay a Lean Mean Strike Machine and I will see you guys next time.